so we get this question a lot where people want to work on Adobe Premiere at home. So maybe you uh, own Adobe Premiere already, or maybe you purchased uh, the, the license through the school, and you want to kind of take your projects that you're working on here at Walnut Grove, but you actually want to edit them at home. So I want to talk a little bit about how you do that, because it can be a little bit on the complicated side, but uh, hopefully once we go through it, it'll make a lot of sense. So uh, to start with, we have to understand a little bit about, about what we're dealing with in terms of where files are stored. When you're at the school, you're on the WGSS school network, and we store everything for you on your H drive, and that's a personal drive that's stored on our server. Okay? And typically you have subfolders. So you might have a subfolder called video production, and then you might have other you know, video projects, number one, number two, et cetera, et cetera. Well, at home, it's a little different. You don't really have, most likely you don't have a network drive. You probably just store stuff either on documents or on your desktop or in your videos, something like that. It's not as big a deal because you're not doing shared computers at your house, right? But at school, we do shared computers. It's important to have an H drive. But the big issue here is that these are not connected. In fact, our school network is not even accessible from the outside. It's an internal system. So you cannot just connect to your H drive from home to get these files, which is a problem, right? Because you need those files to actually create, uh, do your editing. So we also have to think about how does Premiere work? Well, Premiere doesn't actually store your video files. All it does is it kind of points to them, right? So when you import videos from your H drive, you drag them in here, all that that's doing is that's telling Premiere there is a file that I want you to use. It's called People Are Awesome Versus Fail Army. It's in H Drive Video Production Fails Compilation, or, or however you've got it set up. So Premiere now knows that anytime it looks in that folder, it's going to find these projects here. Up here, you can see as well, this is our project file. So these are our assets. Right? All of these you know, video files, there's some sound effects, there's music. These are all assets that we're using in our project. And then this file here, it's called an Adobe Premiere Project. It's called a PRPROJ file if you want to be specific. That's the actual Premiere file. So we've got the Premiere file and then we've got all of our assets. Okay, so if I look back here, the problem is all of our assets and our Premiere file are on our H drive. If you want to edit this at home, you have to get all those assets and your Premiere project file onto your home computer. So the best way to do that, well, there's a few ways to do it. What you don't do is you can't email it. You can't email these files. Videos are too big. Email will not work. You don't want to send them on Teams either. Teams is not a great way to send videos. Again, they're it's just too big and Teams kind of mangles them. So what do you want to do? Well, you could use a USB flash drive. That would work. If you bought a flash drive, you plug it into the home, to our school computers, copy everything over. Or you could go wireless and use the cloud. And examples of the cloud could be OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive. Those are all cloud-based systems that allow you to move big files. Well, I specifically want to talk about OneDrive because you as a student here at Walnut Grove have access to a OneDrive account with basically unlimited space. You have like a terabyte, which is more than you'll ever need. So we need to understand OneDrive is a cloud-based system. It means you can upload files from one computer and then you can download them from another computer. It's great, right? So you're gonna upload them to OneDrive via our school and then when you get home, you can log into your OneDrive and download them onto your computer. To log into your OneDrive, um, you do have to know your password. So most students should know this, but basically your username is your langleyschools.ca email address. So it's the first initial of your name, your last name, and then the last four digits of your student number. So for example, if your name is Wally Gator and your student number is 12345678, your username is W gator4567 at langleyschools.ca. Now some people will change their password, but the default password that you will have is the first two letters of your first name, the first four digits of your student number, and then dollar dollar. 
So for example, if you are Wally Gator, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your password now would be WA1234 dollar dollar. Okay, so now that we have a bit of an understanding of how that works, let's let's kind of look at the logistics of how it's actually gonna how we're gonna do it. So this right here is the project that I'm working on in my H drive. Okay, here at school. I cannot get these files at home. If I look at any of these files, I right click them and choose properties. You will see, oops, not that one. Let's see. Um, if I go to properties, they should show that they're all in my H drive. Now, right now, I've got it set up a little differently, but when you right click and choose properties, it should show you that they are in your H drive. Okay, so now I got to get all these files into my OneDrive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to office.com. You could also go, I think you can go to OneDrive.com as well. And you're going to log in. Mine automatically logs in. And when you click up here, these little this little grid, you can go to your OneDrive. So you're going to do this on any browser within the school. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my files and this is going to list all my files. So you can see I use my OneDrive for a lot of stuff. Well, I'm going to make a new folder. So I'm going to go add new folder and I'm going to call it video projects from school, something like that. I can even color code it if I want. Let's do green for gators, create that. Okay. So now I should have a folder in here called video projects from school. I'm going to click on that. Now, I'm going to make another folder for the name of the project. So in this case, I'm doing a fail compilation and I don't know, I'll do another color if I want. Okay. So this is my fail compilation on my OneDrive. Right now there's nothing in there. I got to put stuff in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my H drive and however you've organized it, I'm going to take all of these files right here. In fact, I don't even need that one. I'm going to take all these files. I'm going to copy them. Actually, sorry, I'm not going to copy them. I don't even need to do that. I'm just going to drag them into my OneDrive. And what's going to happen is it's going to, so you can see I have 37 items in there. It is now uploading all of them. And if you're at the school, it should go pretty fast, even though they're, they can be big files. And that's it. I'm now done. I've got them on the cloud. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to pretend that I'm at home now on a brand new computer that's never had this project open and I'm going to show you how I can get that. Okay, so I've magically got home. We're going to pretend now that this is my home computer. Mac or PC doesn't matter, okay? Now, obviously I'm still at the school, but let's just pretend that this is my home computer now. I don't, you can store your video files wherever you want on your home computer. It's up to you. Let's just say maybe you use the documents all the time. So let's, this is where I want to put my file now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to once again log in to my OneDrive. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this fail compilation. I'm going to select all of them. Okay, so I can select all of them. And I believe if I click... Should be a, I think if I hit control A, it just selects everything. So now I've got everything and I'm at home, keep in mind, and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to download this to my documents folder. And maybe I even make something where I'm going to put my home video projects or something like that. And I'm just going to save it. Now it's going to save all of these into one file, which is called a zip file. And again, doesn't matter if you're on Windows or you're on a, uh, on a Mac machine, the zip files are going to be fine. It's totally going to work. Okay, so you can see now it's downloaded it. And depending on your computer at home, I'm not sure where it's going to go. It might be in the downloads folder. Maybe it asked you to put it in documents. You just got to find it. So I'm going to open up where it went. And it, it had already asked me. So it looks like it's in my documents and my home video projects. So now what I have to do is I have to get all this stuff out. So it's really easy with a zip file. You should just be able to right click it and you want to extract it. So a zip file, I mean, I can double click it, show you. This is all the files. They're inside this zip file. All I'm going to do is right click it and I'm going to extract. And I'll just click extract. 
it'll copy everything out of there. And the only thing I don't like is it gives it this weird name, right? This OneDrive 1109. I'm going to call this my fail compilation. And what's nice here is here's all the files that I was just working on at school. I've got them all. So now what I can do is I can just double click my Premiere project file. You may get a few pop-ups. That's fine. If you get pop-ups, just kind of click OK and, you know, read them. And if you're really not sure, you know, send your teacher a message. But you can see now, it's no longer on my H drive. It's now on my documents, right? So I've changed the location. And again, if we go back to this slide over here, let me just bring it up. We have now taken everything from our school network and we've used the cloud to bring it to our home computer. So now we now have a copy over here and a copy over here. Okay, so from here, I can just edit everything I want. It is possible you may get some linked file issues. Um, and you do get that. It, it can be a little tricky to fix, but Premiere's getting pretty good about avoiding that now. But if you get a bunch of red screens, say media offline, um, you may have to uh, send a message to your teacher or, uh, you know, kind of figure out how to relink those files. But at this point, everything's good. You know, this is perfect. Everything I do, I do just like I'm at school. Now, here's the really nice part. Let's say I spend a couple hours one night and I do all this cool stuff. I bring videos in here. I do the way I want. This is good. Now, how do I get it back to school so I can work on it the next day? Well, the nice thing is, you don't have to keep sending these videos back and forth. You've already done that. So all you have to do, and keep in mind, I'm on my home computer right now. I go back to my OneDrive over here. Let's unselect everything. And all I have to do is take the the Premiere project file. That's it. I take that one file, drag it into my OneDrive, and it's gonna say, wait, a file already exists. Okay, so I could either replace it or keep them both. I'm just gonna replace it. And now I've got the latest version of my project file, which is, has all my edits I did at home. And you can see, I did everything else seven minutes ago. Here's a few seconds ago. So the clip compilation is good to go. And then when I get back to school, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to OneDrive. I'm going to find just my clip compilation, the latest project file. I'm going to download that and put it back into my H drive. And that's how you kind of keep doing it. You just go back and forth. If you add new videos or new sound effects at home or at school, you just have to add those back to your OneDrive. But really, once you've kind of got all your main clips that you've sent back and forth, and you've got one copy on your home computer and one copy on your uh, school computer, it's just this little Premiere project file that you keep sending back and forth now, and that should take care of it. Um, again, I've mentioned this before, but use your teachers as an asset. If you're having trouble with this, message them on Teams or talk to them in person. Uh, it's not that bad to do, and once you've done it once or twice, it, it makes a lot of sense. And it's great to be able to get ahead in your class by doing some edits at home.